Hi friends, this is Dr. Abdega I am Kimthanawala. You must have seen lot of remedies having lot of symptoms of mind in the body. Today I'll discuss one of the very interesting symptom, mind symptom of a remedy that is hyosimus. How a hyosimus patient answers, which I've seen lots many in my clinical practice. How does a hyosimus patient answer? The first thing that comes to my mind that in hyosimus the patient answers monosyllabic. Sometimes it is it is seen that he answers monosyllabic no to all the questions. Whatever you ask him, he'll say no. Nahi, aisa nahi hai, aisa nahi hai. It's not like that. This is again a very very important symptom of hyosimus because whenever you are taking a case and sometimes you see right from the start of the case taking till the end of the end of the case taking. There is one sentence or one word or one phrase or something which is continuously the patient is saying, and that becomes a very important symptom in that case taking. So whenever the patient answers monosyllabic no to all questions, remember hyosimus. Of course, do compare hyosimus with uh, calibrom, with crotalis cascavella and pulsatile also. As you go further, you can also see a hyosimus patient answers very unintelligently. Not an intelligent answer. You say a person of maybe fifty years of age and how is answering? Unintelligent. Don't always think about bratas. But in hyosimus also the answers are very unintelligent. And whenever this symptoms comes, you must compare hyosimus with one of the very important remedies: phosphoric acid, phosphorus, and china. See when you know a matter medica or repertory. Very, very closely, I have lived, uh, lived with a patient. Then you understand that every remedy has so many different colors due to, because of the myosins. Phosphoric acid, phosphorus, China. You may not have thought of that answers unintelligently, but it is there. Or you can say is answers very slowly. Answers very dire dire. What is my name? Is very very slowly. Very very close to again Helleborus and again phosphoric acid and phosphorus. See how close the remedy uh, is associated with two or three remedies. So hence, when I always uh, say that whenever you are uh, uh, taking a symptom for prescription, you must have at least two or three comparative remedies because then you are able to give the stimulum properly. Sometimes uh, it is said that it is also said that how Samus answers very irrelevantly, irrelevantly, uh, and that is again very close to. Again, three four remedies. Again, phosphoric acid and nux moscata. Of course, there are few remedies more, but it's my clinical experience. It is so much so that whenever it is written in Mater Medica, that answers irrelevantly in threatening abortions. The patient is so anxious that it it may abort the fetus, and because of that anxiety, in just he answers absolutely irrelevantly, not relevant to what you have asked, not relevant to the situation, especially when the patient with that is going to abort or. In threatening abortion, again a very very important symptom of hyosimus. And as you go further, it is also said that hyosimus answers very incorrectly and incoherently. Whenever you see that answers incorrectly, again do compare that with phosphorus, phosphoric acid, belladonna, opium, and nux omega. See how close phosphoric acid, how close phosphorus is going with. Hyosimus, and you must have never thought. That's why comparative mathematics is very important. As you go further, whenever you find that the patient in hyosimus, it is said that it is a maniac remedy. It is uh, like stramonium and belladonna. So the symptoms sometimes in uh, psychiatric disorders like depression or bipolar, you find a hyosimus patient answers imaginary questions to answers to imaginary questions. He feels that a doctor is asking something, and he will answer something. Answers. Imaginary questions to again phosphorus, hyosimus, and stramonium. You have to compare with this symptom. And one of the very interesting symptoms that you must have heard about hyosimus that is he answers abruptly, shortly, and curtly. This is a very very important symptom that you all know that answers very shortly and abruptly. And I have seen in lot many of cases when the patient comes and tells you, sir. Whatever we ask, whatever he asks the child or whatever he asks the, the, the this person, he answers during sleep, and this is a very very important symptom narrated by the associate. That's why anyone says that in case taking, it's important to ask the attendants, uh, attendant of the patient because he can tell you something very interesting about the patient. Answers during sleep, 
hyoscyamus very interesting remedy compare that with again phosphoric acid and baptisia which i have seen in my clinical practice they go very very closely and of course when the when you say hyoscyamus patient is very uh, angry or vindictive or malicious so one of the answers would be like answers refuses to he refuses to answer any questions so these are very short uh, short uh, mental symptoms regarding answer how the how samas answers in your opd or when how what you must see when the patient is uh, telling answering some questions of yours which you feel this is something different this is something a uh, uh, symptom which will define the constitution so you have to take care of this also so my dear friends Uh, do see in your clinical practice this type of answers how the hyoscyamus answers in your clinical practice if you like this video do share and subscribe thank you